How to create a cool introduction for your animated shorts? Let's study a nice example. Hi, this is Gustav, the developer of TubiTube. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to study an interesting demo made by our community member Giovanni Ramirez from the Dominican Republic. This is the scene. As you may notice, the structure of this animation is perfect as introduction for any kind of short film. The coolest thing about it is the 3D illusion, understanding that all the elements in the scene are actually 2D objects. In fact, we already used this technique in a previous dubitive, remember? Ok, let's analyze the source file of this example to understand how it works. At this point, it's important to say that the trick to generate the effect that the camera is moving forward deep into the scene is scaling up the different elements of the landscape, and of course, using several layers. In this case, the whole project is formed by seven layers. Every layer contains one specific element of the scene. Fortunately, for each element of the whole animation, we have to apply exactly the same transformation, the scale twin. Of course, we will have to adjust the parameters for every case slightly, but in general terms, the process is the same. Ok, let's make a sorted list of the elements we will have to create for this example, from back to front. First, the sky. Second, the mountains. Third, the green plain. Fourth, the road. Fifth, the trees set. Sixth, the branches set. And seventh, the main title. All these components are raster images that you can make from your favorite graphics editor like GIMP, Krita, or Photoshop. Indeed, if you want to work with vector objects, you can use Inkscape or TubiTube itself to create these objects. An example, the title of the scene is an SPG element made using Inkscape. Note 1. If you are going to work with raster images, remember to export them as PNG files and make sure to set the background as transparent so you can use them from different layers without overlapping or hiding the other graphic elements behind. Note 2. Take care of the dimension of the images you create. They have to be compatible with the dimension of your Tubitube project. Ok, it's time to analyze the first layer. After adding the image of the sky from the library panel, you just have to add the scale twin and apply it to the element. In this case, the twin starts at frame 1 and ends at frame 185. The value for the iterations field is 185 too. Now, the key parameter here is the scaling factor, 1.001. Why we should care of it? Well, because when you want to create the illusion of zooming in, you have to use different scaling factor values depending on the proximity of every object to the camera view. The far is the object, the scaling factor must be smaller. So as we add new layers, the scaling factor will be increased gradually. Note, only for this layer, an additional position twin was added to the sky to enhance the effect of the clouds. As you may notice, the motion path only has one short segment but lasting 185 frames. Let's take a look at this first layer alone. For the second layer, we are going to use the image of the mountains taking care of placing the image in the right position. Note, 
You can take advantage of the Action Safe Area feature to get a better visual reference of the work area at the moment of inserting any image. Ok, once again we are going to add a scale twin, repeating the same parameters we used for the previous layer, except for the scaling factor. For this layer, the value will be 1.002. Let's apply the twin and then preview the two layers together. It's time to work on the third layer, the green plane. On this level, we are going to add a grass plane on the bottom edge of the work area, according to the landscape designed by our artist. Once again, we have to add a scale twin, same parameters, except for the scaling factor. For this case, our value will be 1.010. As you may notice, this value is increasing as we add new layers. After applying the twin, let's take a look at the player. Guess what's next? Yeah, the fourth layer, the road. This level, we are going to import another grass plane but with a footpath to generate the sensation of more depth. The image must be aligned a little lower than the plane of the previous layer. Time to add a new scale twin. For this layer, the scaling factor is 1.030, ending at frame 120 and with the same number of iterations. Time to watch the advance of our project once again. Now the 3D effect starts to be evident. Next layer, the fifth one, the trees set. On this level, we are going to import an image with a couple of treats to decorate the right and left borders of the scene. For the scale twin of this layer, we are going to use a scaling factor equal to 1.030. Yes, it is the same value we used for the previous layer. This twin ends at frame 120, using the same number of iterations. Let's apply the twin and watch the current result. Now, the sixth layer contains a couple of branches from the trees placed closer to the camera view. After importing the image, we will set the scale twin for this component using a scaling factor equal to 1.050 ending at frame 120 and with the same number of iterations. As you can see, our scene is almost done. The only pending component is the title, so let's add a seventh layer, the last one. Note, for this layer we are going to use an SVG object made with Inkscape an SVG editor. The reason we decided to use this format for the title is because we want to avoid the pixelation of the letters as the title gets bigger until it disappears from the camera view. If you try to use a raster image as a PNG file, then you will find out that the result is not so accurate when the letters get closer to the camera view. Ok. For this layer, we are going to import the SVG element into the frame 45. Now, let's add our LATS scale twin. These are the parameter values we are going to use. Ending at frame 185. The scaling factor 1.030. Iterations 140. Finally, we are going to need an opacity twin to create the effect that the title appears suddenly into the scene. To apply this new transformation, we have to get back to the frame 45 in the 7th layer. After adding the twin, we are going to use these values for the parameters. 
Ending at frame 60. Initial opacity 0. Ending opacity 1.0. Iterations 15. After applying this twin, we could see how the title appears from nowhere and how the whole animation exercise is complete. Did you like it? I hope so. Ok, that's all for now. If you have any questions about this to be deep, please leave a message in the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This inspires me to create new content. Note, your support on our Patreon page is always welcome anytime. You can help us from $1 per month. Keep animating! And see you in the next video!